Oh uh, yeah, I try to be for sure. I think I don't think there's too many six seven punters out there. So yeah, I guess I try and make advantage of that if I can. So my brother's six five, and dad's six six, and I'm six seven. So yeah, I guess we yeah we got a little bit lucky there. I guess. Now people in the U.S. might not know, but your dad's a pretty big deal. Um yeah, he's a really good Australian football player um, back home. So yeah, it's it's a little different to American football, but yeah, no, he's a really good player back home. He's been a really good mentor for me and sort of. Uh, in speaking about sort of um, trying to go pro and, and all stuff like that. Um, yeah, so in Australian football, you, it's pretty much just part and parcel. You just have to be able to kick both legs because there might be someone trying to tackle you from either side. So you've got to be able to swing onto the either left or the right foot. Um, but yeah, it's just something you have to be able to do as an Australian football player. Yeah, so obviously always mainly right here because that's a stronger leg and a bit more accurate. But yeah, if something happened, if, if coverage blew up and stuff like that, I could, uh, yeah, I could swing onto the left for sure. So I played Australian rules football back home in my draft year. I had a, a little injury that set me back. Um, through the draft combine and stuff like that. And I was sort of sitting there and I'm, I was like, well, I can still definitely play a sport at a really high level. So I thought I might as well come over here and um, get my education um, paid for um, and then try and go pro as well. Yeah, so there was a crazy wind in uh, SMU. So yeah, I had the returner stand only 30 something, 40 yards up. So I thought, yeah, I might as well try and put it over his head and that worked reasonably well. Always been a guy that's played offense, defense, linebacker, tight end. So um, they needed a guy and I just gave it a shot and then really didn't start taking it serious till junior year high school. Started going to camps in Vegas where uh, guys literally just long snap in high school and I thought that was crazy, but found that was my best route to play division one football. You know, long snapping is a spot that kind of goes unnoticed and you don't want really anyone to know you unless um, you make a tackle. So they really only know you if you mess up or make a tackle. So just try to stay consistent. I used to do a lot of drills and stuff and technique, but really it's just getting loose and now it's like second nature. Obviously, Fletcher makes it easy for me being a big target. And um, so kind of just throw it. I'm aiming towards his hip. And uh, field goal is easy with Bryce, too, because we work on perfect laces. I mean, we get tired of one another, but, I mean, we're, we're together 24-7. So, I mean, we're used to it. It's almost just like uh, like just like two two twin brothers that are always just bumping heads. But uh, in terms of what, what work goes into everything, I mean, we're, what people don't really see is, you know, when everyone else is in meetings, we're out here, you know, an hour or so before practice, and we're just doing a bunch of repetitive things. And then when they come out, we might not do much when they're out here, but, you know, when they're in meetings, we're doing a ton. Our punter left, and I, uh, James Smith left, and there was uh, just an opening in the spring, and I was like, well, I probably won't get a ton of kicks, so I might as well learn how to hold it. At first, it was a joke. And we were just we were doing it in the hallway where we lived in 101 East Quarry, and then it it just actually stuck. So uh, it it was something that I just kind of practiced for fun and got good at. Uh, yeah, it is pretty difficult. I mean, we try to get an operation in 1.25 seconds. So I mean, it's really just you know it's it's like this when you have to put it down and spin it and make sure that everything is pretty precise.